Idris Abdurrahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed about the arithmetic operators and in that particular journey, we discussed several symbols for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus. Today, we are going to move on to the second part of it. We are going to discuss the relational operators and under it, we are going to discuss several relation uh, operators. So let's start with the first one. The first uh, uh, relational operator it's what we call an equal. So this particular, it is not equivalent to the assignment operator, but this is what you call up an equal operator. And the second one we are having is not equal. And this is the not equal operator. So that is the second one, the not equal operator. The third one, is what you call the greater than the greater than greater than relational operator the fourth one we have it is the less than this is the less than relational operator and the fifth one it is what you call greater greater than or equal so this is the symbol for greater than or equal and the last symbol we are having it is the less than or equal so the less than or equal so these are the commonly used six uh, relational operators. So for us to demonstrate them, the relation operators, we are going to take up some variables and see what happens. So basically, I'll have a variable uh, called uh, A, and I'll give it a value of 10, and I'll have also a variable B, also, I'll give it a value of 10, and uh, then I'll have uh, a variable called C, and uh, uh, C, I'll give it a, a value of uh, 20. Then I'll have several variables for each and every uh, relational operator. I'll have a variable called equal. I'll have a variable called not equal. I'll have another variable called greater. I'll have a variable called less. I'll have a variable called greater. or equal I'll have another variable called less or equal so these are my variables which I have actually uh, declared so now let's see how this particular computation will look like. So let's start with the first one, which is equal. So our equal, basically, we say it is assigned to this particular expression, A equals to B. So A equals to B, and actually we are saying A it is equal to B, so it should return up true should return up true or it should return up 1. So the second part of it we are saying not equal. 
not equal so this not equal should be assigned to a so we are using up not equal to b so actually uh, a not equals to b it is false so we should return as false or a value of zero and then we have got another one great or greater than so this one should be assigned to if you are saying a it is greater than c so is it a greater than c no a it is not greater than c because a it is 10 c it is 20 so that one also will return up false will turn up false or the value of 0 and then we have got less and this one should be assigned to we are saying a is less than c which is true a it is 10 and c it is 20 so that will give us the value true or the value of 1 and then we have got great greater than o greater than o equal greater than or equal and uh, this particular one should return up uh, a value let's take up an expression we are saying a should be greater than or equal to c so is it a greater than or equals to c that is false so it should give us uh, actually it should give us the answer to be false or return the value zero and then we have got less or equal less or equal and uh, here we are saying we are putting up an expression of a should be less or equal to c is it true no it is not true it is less but is it equal to c no so that one also should return up false or zero so basically if we are going to use up a, a printf uh, for this particular uh, one we are supposed to get those particular answers so let's use up a printf so using up a printf and basically we are saying equal equals to and here we have to put up uh, first of all all of them they have to be on to bracket that is the syntax so we are saying equal equal equals to percentage d the uh, format specifier and then we are putting up uh, uh, a new line and then here we are talking about not equal not equal equals to and then we have got the format specifier as percentage d and then we are putting up a, a escape sequence by putting up a new line and then here we are talking about great or greater than or greater than equals to a format specifier which is percentage d and then we are putting up a, a new line on a new line we are using up the less so our less should be equals to a format specifier percentage d and then we are putting up uh, an escape sequence of a new line and then we are talking about uh, great greater than or equal greater than or equal 
greater than or equal uh, basically here we're saying should be equals to and then here you're having percentage d and then our last one escape sequence and then you're talking about less less or equal less or equal and then basically equals to we are having our format specifier percentage d and uh, we want to finish up there that is the first part of it so the second part of it we have to declare all our variables all of them so we are starting with the first variable which is equal comma and then not equal comma and then we have been the great comma less comma and then you've got great or equal great or equal and finally we have got the less or equal so basically less or equal so basically uh, this is what we are supposed uh, to perform and these are the answers we are supposed to get so let's run this particular program and actually actually you can see actually here these are the answers we are getting up uh, 100 zero zero and then 1001 zero zero one. so basically this is uh, uh, how we have implemented it into uh, this particular area so thank you very much for listening for this particular uh, lesson and in our last lesson we are going to talk about the logical operator mm -hmm.